Hey, what's up, guys? Today I'm going to be starting a new series on my YouTube channel. Um, in this series, I'm going to be talking about um, budget tech gear that I use to make my videos and that I think are the best for the price and that I would recommend for you guys to buy. So, in today's video, we're going to be talking about the LightDAO LD6000 action camera. Um, it's a GoPro knockoff that I think performs very well for the price, which is $50. The link to this camera will be below along with all the other links to the gear that I use to film my videos. Um, please if you like this consider buying it from the links below as it supports the YouTube channel and it doesn't cost you anything extra. Also make sure you subscribe so you don't miss anything in this series and let's get right into the review. Okay so if you're watching this video you probably were looking at a GoPro, you want a GoPro type thing but you don't want to pay the whatever 200 to 300 dollars it is now to buy a GoPro and that's very reasonable as they make many action cameras that are below 100 dollars that do perfectly fine there's no need to pay for a GoPro um, so this little action camera here it's the light dial LD6000 um, this is 50 dollars on Amazon links below as I already said um, and this um, this has done really well for me. Um, the perks of an action camera, you can use it underwater, they're very rugged, so if you drop it while, well, say, like biking, skateboarding, um, that's perfectly fine. And comes with a ton of accessories, which you can easily uh, use with the camera and the case. Uh, so let's look into some of the features. So the case it comes with is very standard among action cameras. You just pop in the camera close it up and then it's done and then to undo it you simply take it off so putting it on and taking the case off is about a five second process each way uh, so that's standard for all cameras the battery life on this camera has never been a problem for me um, it's actually never died on me and it does come with two batteries I have the other battery here and you put the battery into this little slot right here uh, it's pretty easy to just pull it off and put it in I've actually never even had to use the second battery. Um, I, I'd say the battery life people say is an hour, but it's never been a problem for me. And there is an indicator for the battery in the top right corner, uh, right here. So as you can see, my battery currently is full. And so that's a nice feature. Um, and yeah, the LCD touchscreen is very nice. Um, not even all GoPros have that. Okay, before we get into some uh, video samples and photo samples and the different settings of this, uh, I'm going to talk about one thing. This is advertised as a Wi-Fi camera, which means you can, you well, you should be able to easily connect it to your phone, so you can take all the photos and videos from this camera directly to your phone. Um, unfortunately, that feature I haven't been able to get to work. It might be I'm not doing it right. Or just it just hasn't worked for some reason, but there's a Wi-Fi button right here. So that's if there's one con um, of this camera, it'd definitely be that the Wi-Fi feature doesn't really work. And since I edit all my videos on my phone, um, it's a little bit of a hassle to put this to the computer and then put it on Google Drive so I can get it on my phone. But if you edit on your computer, um, this should not be a problem. It only takes like five to ten minutes to get it to your computer and then to your phone. So that's a bit of a con, but it hasn't been much of a problem for me. Okay, so now let's take a look at the um, different settings of the camera, and then we'll show some video footage and some photo samples. Okay, so to boot the camera up, you simply press this button, hold it down on the front, and you'll get a welcome screen. And the first screen that comes up is automatically the video screen, um, so that's a live view. And to change the um, change the mode it's in, you press this button, see it says mode, so if I press it once, um, I'm to the camera, if I press it again, I'm to the video playback screen, and if I press it again, I have my settings. So here we have um, our resolution, the highest it records is 1080p, and that's 30 frames per second, uh, which is fine for me, it does the trick. And then all these other modes, time lapse, it does take pretty good time lapses. I'll show one right now. Um, all these other features, it does have an anti-shaking feature. You can adjust your white balance and all that stuff. Um, you can turn date and time off. And so it's pretty customizable, which uh, that's 
what you come to expect with action cameras, but um, there's the Wi-Fi, I can never get that stuff to work, and then all that stuff. So that's the different settings, um, and then we're back to the video. So let's get into a few video samples. So I'm going to press this button to record, and let's see what it is. I'm going to switch to this action camera, so let's go ahead and do that. Yo, what's up guys? Um, we are testing the video performance and the sound quality of the Lightdial LD6000 action camera. Okay, and now let's take a photo. Uh, let's take a photo of the setup I have. Okay, so if you ever want to see what you just took, there it is. Um, so I feel like it does take pretty good picture and video quality. I mean, for fifty dollars, this is a pretty insane machine. Um, so let's go take some more videos and let's test the waterproof abilities of this. Okay, so I've got the camera and I have it just starting a video. So we're gonna put it underwater and I'm gonna record, and you can see how it is. So. So yeah, I've done this many times before. I've used it in the water, and I've never had any problems with it. Uh, it's supposed to be nice underwater. Um, and yeah, I'll show some video samples of it underwater uh, at the end of this video. So stay tuned for that. Um, but as you can see, um, it still works fine. And so I am going to take it out, and it is completely dry. So it is waterproof. And another thing, as you've probably seen, the uh, battery, the battery indicators um, does not work all the time. As you can see, it's already gone down a lot. But if I turn it off and then turn it back on, you can see that it'll change. So it's not very accurate. Yeah, it's just, um, I wouldn't really trust that, but just know that you have a good hour, so I would say, and you have the extra battery. Okay, so using the accessories is standard, it's just like a GoPro, and GoPro accessories do work with this action camera. So you just attach the different parts, uh, like this one for example, it has, you can mount this, it has a uh, sticky thing here. And then you just put the camera in here like this, and use one of these, you just put it in here, and then screw it in. And once you screw it in, it'll stay, and you can attach it to anything. So, just like a GoPro and any other action camera. Okay, my favorite accessory, actually, the, for the, um, this action camera is sold separately. Um, I have a link below. It's a phony so funny so uh, tripod selfie stick. So, uh, you just put it on like you do any other accessory. And this also works with your, um, with your phone. Uh, I've been recording the whole video with this. And then it's um, like any other selfie stick. I don't want to screw it in right now, but it just it folds down and you can stretch it out um, pretty far. Uh, so yeah, this is a great accessory if you want to use it as a selfie stick with your um, action camera and as a tripod. And it's also only like 15 or $20, so link below if you want to buy that. So to charge the uh, camera, you plug in the charger that it comes with over here and the SD card is also right here. It just pops in and out. Uh, so yeah, I think I have a I have a 32 gigabyte SD card in there. Uh, I think that's the max it holds, but uh, it gets plenty of footage. Okay, so overall I've had this camera for about four or five months. Um, I mean, I've used it pretty frequently. It's in most of my videos um, for underwater shots or if I just need a smaller camera, you can always take it out and film something. Uh, it's worked really well. As I've said, I've never even had to use the second battery. Um, I've gotten plenty of footage with this, which I will show. Uh, I'll show some video examples at the end of the video, so stay tuned for that. And all around, there's no need to pay all that money for GoPro, uh, for a GoPro, which while GoPro probably is, um, well, it's definitely a little better and more reliable. Uh, for $50, you truly can't beat this, um, and I would really recommend buying this camera. Um, and if you're interested, link in description. Uh, that would really help benefit the channel. And links to all the other products that I used to film this video down below. 
Uh, make sure to subscribe, uh, like this video, and comment. And I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya. Okay, I hope you guys enjoyed that budget tech video. Uh, if you want to see the rest of the series, subscribe right here and watch these other reviews. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.